happy new year and welcome back to my channel this is my first video of the year and i'm glad to show you guys what my new year's eve look was all about um i got a lot of questions about my ponytail and to be honest i just got motivated from a pinterest post that i saw and i thought you know what i can totally do that i didn't do it exactly how the picture is because i don't know how to corn roll but i do know how to twist so i decided to instead replace those corn rolls with actual twists um, and sectioning my hair if you see going on right now I actually sectioned it for a ponytail part in the back and then three big sections for twists in the front using that like really thin rat tail comb because it helps to make sure that your parts are super even so next I'm just gathering that back part and really putting it into a ponytail so that it's out of the way and I'm able to just focus on the front pieces <laughs> So here I'm starting to section off my three front pieces that are going to be like the main twists. And like I said, I'm using that rat tail comb so that I can get my parts extremely straight. <laughs> To create my twist, I'm going to start using a couple of different products to get my hair to slick down and mold down into the twist. So first I'm using the mousse products. So the first mousse I'm using is from Aussie. It is the Head Strong Volume Mousse. It's a 24 hour lift in one, has bamboo and Australian plum in it. <laughs> anyway, it has a maximum hold. The other mousse that I'm going to also be using is from Cream of Nature. It is the Argan Oil from Morocco Style and Shine Foamy Mousse. I love the Cream of Nature mousse because it smells amazing. I just didn't have a lot, so I decided to mix both of them. The gel that I'm going to be using on my hair is from Eco Styler, and it is the Black Castor and Flaxseed Oil Gel. I do typically like this gel because I feel like it helps my hair not to be flaky um it doesn't give me any of that like really hard feeling when i mold my hair down i think my hair still feels pretty manageable um so i do like using that one my shoulders, every single element of my, this area. <laughs> it hurts so bad, y'all. 
All right, so now that I have finally twisted that centerpiece, I'm now going ahead and just combing out that hair that's like attached to the rubber band and popping it with the rest of the hair that's going to be in the ponytail just so I can get that hair out of the way. And then I'm going to just start putting some of that mousse right on top of that twist just to continue to mold it down and keep it manageable and very like sleek as possible. I'm going to be taking that Shine and Jam Conditioning Gel Extra Hold and popping that also on top of my twist. This will help to like slick down my hair and also give it a little bit more of a sleek look. So now I'm just going to start on the side parts that are going to be the side twists. And I'm basically following the exact same steps that I use for the middle twist. Just putting that mousse down first, then applying the gel, and then twisting it right to the back and popping the rubber band right on top of it. Now that all of the twists have been created, it is time to start molding the ponytail and I pretty much want the ponytail to be higher, like a higher ponytail. Um, that's basically what the photo depicts. So I am brushing my hair upward so that I can mold my ponytail to the center of my scalp and just mold it down. I put some mousse on my hair but I'm also going to apply some of that Eco Styler Gel and a little bit of that Shine and Jam towards the like back nape of my neck. ponytail is created and it's all molded down I'm going to split it into two sections and start a twist and then wrap it around and create like a little ball so that I can um, rubber band it and make it a little poof at the top To secure my ponytail and make sure that it's as sleek as possible because I am natural I try to reinforce everything with products so I'm going back in with some of that jam the shine and jam and I'm just putting it on the like lower parts of the nape of my neck and then taking that really coarse brush and ensuring that it's as sleek as possible now to make sure that everything stays put all night I'm going to use this Mega Hold Firm Hairspray. This is actually an Equate brand that you can get from Walmart, but you can use any hairspray, of course. And I'm just spraying it literally generously all over my hair so that it can stay as firm as possible. Now I'm going to take my satin scarf and apply it to my hair just so that I can 
hold it down hold down all of my curls and everything I'm about to do my makeup right after I'm done with this so I decided to put on a scarf that way that it'll help to mold my hair down and keep it down and keep my baby hairs basically in place and all of that jazz you guys know if you're a natural or if you do your hair and you do your baby hair and all that stuff you know that this is the time now to just put your scarf on and let it sit for a while so to really ensure that my hair is molded down and it's going to stay put, I decided to blow dry it a little bit but on top of the scarf. I didn't want to put direct heat on my hair, I just decided to put it on top of the scarf. That way it will help to um, make my hair dry faster, especially with that Mega Hold spray. It will definitely dry really easily and I won't have to worry about anything all night. Y'all got all my little sexy robe. <laughs> um, but let me pause my music because I had it planned. So I just finished doing my makeup. I um, got these glasses on. I do not have any contacts. I haven't ordered contacts in months. I haven't had contacts since my birthday, and that was in September. Y'all, I'm tripping. Um, but ooh. But, um, I am in the process of trying to finish out this hair. I was invited to a house party that I think I may go to. I'm not in the mood to go out, to be honest. I'm not in the mood to celebrate. <laughs> but, at the end of the day, you know, it is starting a new year, new decade, new everything. New mood, new vision, um, new RG mode. So... I'm excited for that. Um, I'm just gonna think about the past and reflect on the lessons that I've learned in this last decade. I mean, your girl, like, listen. So, I don't think you can see my makeup. I will like show it properly and or insert videos because I will be snapping probably tonight and also putting stuff on my Insta stories and stuff. But my lighting in my apartment is very dark um, and very yellow. It's not white lights. So I'm not sure if you can get a good look at my makeup. Um, but I think it actually came out pretty bomb. And every time I don't record my makeup looks, it actually comes out better. So I decided to not prolong my like get ready process and just go ahead and do a... Um, just do the hair and just show the hair because I was inspired to like do like a natural hair look or whatever so I showed you guys the photo of the hair look and I will show you guys again just in case y'all forgot um in case I forgot but this is the hair look that I am attempting to do it's not obviously the exact same I don't know how to corn roll really I've never really tried um but me and wasn't gonna try tonight so um and then this lip i have on um because i got some questions before in my instagram but it is the fenty beauty this is their stunna lip paint i think it's called yeah stunna lip paint this is the color unveil it's this really nice nude brown type color i love this lip you already saw me do this i've molded it down it's still very good i want to obviously retouch my edges baby hairs whatever i'm not really a baby hair person but we're gonna do what we can do. Um, what I have here is some stretched hair. It is just some regular like braid hair that you would get from your local beauty supply store or wherever you get hair. Usually, typically, um, the bundles of braid hair um, come with a rubber band on it. And I can see that this one doesn't, which is, I mean, it did, but because it's mixed in with this red hair, which I could technically keep that in there. Give my little, you know, give my little pony some some jazziness. <laughs> but typically it comes with a rubber band in the middle of the hair. Um, so I'm going to pop that through. So I'm just taking this rubber band. It already like comes like this, but if your hair doesn't or whatever for some reason, you can just take the rubber band and in between your two fingers, then take the hair and then we're gonna just twist this like this through the rubber band oh, like so so now it's like this right i'm going to take this and pop this around my ponytail my little ball that i got going on up here so now i have the hair like this now what you'll notice 
have the hair, right? Just looking real crazy, right? Um, hanging to the side. What you'll notice is that the top portion looks like it's like a chunk. So it looks like it's like kind of bunched together. So what I'm going to do is, I should have probably positioned this up top, but what I'm going to do is take it and spread this hair around like my bump. And then get a rubber band. I'm going to need like several rubber bands, obviously, because you see how it's like all these different little poofs. Those are created with rubber bands. I'm going to just gather a whole bunch of them and put them on my sink so I can like readily grab them when I need them. Um, but yeah, I'm just like grabbing a whole bunch of the bands. I don't know if I need bobby pins quite yet because I'm not sure what this top poof thing is going to be doing. So I'm taking one of the rubber bands and I'm just going to like gather it so that it's like a big chunk right here, right? And we're going to just try to secure my cute little bun in there. So now I have this hair. Now the thing is I don't want for this hair to be nappy or weird but I can see it's shedding already and well it's not shed, it's just that it's, it's braid hair so it's not like on a track you know what I'm saying so it's not all together. So now I'm gonna I like my hair for some reason to be positioned onto this side so I'm going to not give y'all a show I'm going to have my ponytail more than likely on this side so I'm going to just start gathering it on this side so next I'm going to take another section with a another rubber band and I'm going to double it like so and then I'm going to pull so that it's kind of like chunky fat like how she, like how hers is like fat poofs instead of it, like if you just put the rubber band on, it's going to be just straight. So I'm just basically pulling some out from underneath the rubber band, just making it kind of fat and chunky. And then I'm going to do another little section. So I'm going to just keep doing that all the way down. Well, for the most part. <laughs> When you get towards the bottom because it gets more narrow you can totally like double keep wrapping the rubber band around more and more because obviously it will be getting a little too short for you guys but it'll be tighter um and then oh, this is gonna look cray okay and then since i'm at the end um, I'm going to just like keep the tips kind of cute. Oh, this is cute, y'all. I wonder what this back look like. Okay, let me put on my, this, my spectacles so I can see. Oh, hey. Ugh, let me see. Let me grab the camera, y'all. Okay. So, ooh, ooh, don't want to show too much, but here is her. She cute or whatever. Um, what does this back look like? I have not seen it myself. Oh, I feel like I feel like I may need to bobby pin this little section a little bit because obviously I don't want for her to um, start showing. So I'm gonna like try to hide some bobby pins around underneath the section. What I love is these. I got these actually I think from H&M a long time ago. But I mean you can get them at any place. But I love bobby pins that are like not black but brown. Especially if your hair is brown. Because I feel like it just makes more sense. And it hides well. Other than like you having this black ass bobby pin sticking out. I have one on each side. But I feel like I'm going to put one more bobby pin maybe two just to super secure it i mean secure it not showing oh and my camera is super sideways sorry guys just to secure it not necessarily showing the bun it's secure on my hair because it's around that rubber band but i don't want for my bun a little twisted bun to show at all 
okay and then i'm feeling very like princess jasmine vibes <laughs> it's super cute though i'm loving it um and i have this also which is like the um gold thread string whatever stuff that you know you put in your hair when you get braids and stuff um i don't know what to do i was thinking about doing something with this but now i'm like i don't know what to do exactly with this like where where am i going with this um i don't know i got i got two and then i have some more like in this bag but i'm thinking like what if i wrapped it around the hair wrap it around the i don't know i think i want to keep it clean i was squinting so hard just now like what is this this can't be life okay so i'm not going to use this just yet but i do have some styles i want to do i want to do some space buns and do do the thread whatever around the space buns i can't wait y'all i'm gonna be doing some styles because i've been seeing a lot of styles and i'm like i used to be able to do my own hair like i can do that um so i'm really excited i mean i've never really i think i've done like maybe one or two fake hair tutorials on my channel um but i don't really know what vision this channel is going in <laughs> but this is just something i decided to do real quick um let me i have a mirror down here let me look at the back of my head to see if it's cute or not yes okay wait i don't know what that is doing but my hair is pretty slick in the back as slick as it's gonna get Okay, pony pony. I think the red pops of red are throwing me off because like I'm not really like like if my hair is gonna be a color, it's gonna be one color typically. I don't always go like so it splashes <laughs> splashes of colors, and especially because I can't really see it in the front, but then when I look in the back, I'm like, oh, where'd that red come from? So, but this is cute. I really do like it, and I feel like with some dope earrings, um, what I'm going to do is just take this Shine and Jam, um, this like extra hold gel, but it's more like a jammy type consistency, um, but it definitely holds way better than Jam, and um, it just makes my little baby hair swoop up, because the actual like Eco Styler gel slicks down my hair but it doesn't give me like baby hairs like it doesn't do that type of a job whereas you see like these just started slicking down real quick so i love this stuff um i like i said i'm not really a person who usually typically is thirsty to like do baby hairs and do stuff but i'll do a swoop that's what i'll do i'm a swooper i'm not really a baby hair person <laughs> um and then i like had some braids <sighs> not these last braids and not the braids i have for my birthday but bra i don't know these braids were like a while ago and i feel like my edges have just not been the same ever since and not that i don't have edges but i just feel like they are just not as like they just ain't as visible as they used to be <laughs> whatever the hell that means um but yeah i'm just slicking down all the little areas getting them you know getting them right getting them tight as much as i can because i am natural um and like last night like i said in the voiceover more than likely um i had washed and blow dried my hair and everything um and i just put it in a ponytail and just was like i don't worry about styling it tomorrow which i'm happy i did because who knows if i would have slept on it and then what would have happened or whatever but this is super cute i'm really impressed with myself all it you know practice makes perfect so i'm sure like you know more i do more styles the better i'll get obviously um but yeah so let me see if i can take y'all to step into the light carolyn light but this is this is the hair I like it I'm excited about it I'm you know I'm feeling it it's not bad um I'm probably gonna wear my black glasses because I have on this is the makeup look if you can see so this is the eyes I did like a purpley kind of look um very snatched trying to be Eddie anyway um with the contour and stuff so this is what 
the eye makeup and everything just kind of turned out to be um i really wish i had some contacts i don't know what glasses i mean i don't know what um outfit i'm gonna wear i was thinking about doing sequins i mean mine as well this is like the day to do sequins so i'm gonna do that it is literally almost 10 o'clock <laughs> i got two hours to the countdown so i gotta get out of here because i gotta go to this party so i will check in with you guys later bye